This is really good. I have the cheese fondue right here. So today we're here in Zurich, Switzerland. We're going to try a stable Swiss dish, which is Swiss fondue. And we're going to one of the top rated fondue restaurants here in Zurich, which is... Adler's Swiss Chuchi. This restaurant is in the Hotel Adler, which is right here, yeah, um, you right can see there. right there. It goes around the corner with outdoor seating. I don't know if we'll be sitting outside, no, but probably not. Um, there's some cute outdoor seating. And then right behind us, they are setting up for the Christmas market. Yeah, oh. um, yeah so you'll hear that. Yeah. We're going to go inside and check it out and see the fondue yes. and warm up with some good Swiss food. So yeah. let's so go. Let's go. First time here, so oh, <laughs> just digesting the menu. I had a few questions for the raclette. How does it come out? Like a like this? Okay. In the machine, you get cheese slices. You get little pans where you are uh, melting the cheese and you're grilling on the top. Okay. The meat, in case you order the one with the meat. What would you say is like for a first timer to try for the well, raclette? Are more or less the same. Okay. Depends the what kind of meat it comes with. It. Okay. So order the one, the meat that you prefer to have. Okay. What's your favorite? Mm. I would take the mixed meat one. The mixed meat. Okay. And the decision made. Would you like to have? Uh, yeah, we have those two raclette with the the mixed meat. Yeah, the mixed meat and then. Cheese fondue. Yes. Okay, so I have the cheese fondue right here. It comes with these little bread pieces. And the way you do it is you just grab one of the bread pieces, dump it in here, mix it up. Oh, that's some nice cheese. And then you just make sure that it doesn't drip. And then you put it on your plate. Leave it there for a little bit because it's it's very hot. So you have to be careful so that you don't burn your mouth. I already put like one piece here that I can eat now. I usually let it sit for like, I would say two minutes at least. Mm. Mm. That's really good. It's a very strong flavor. And it's perfect for like when it's cold outside. This stuff really warms you up. It's really good. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm, really good. Oh yeah, and then usually you drink it with white wine or if you don't like alcohol, you can drink it with a nice tea. I got a ginger tea, but it's recommended on the locals that you drink it with some tea or white wine. Not like with some cold beverage like Coca-Cola or something, like that. I wouldn't do it. It's not recommended. In the cheese fondue, they usually also put alcohol, like wine. So you have to, if, so if you don't drink alcohol, you can tell them that you do not want it and then they prepare it without wine. But the normal standard fondue, you prepare it with wine. So just be aware of it. Okay, so I went ahead and went with the raclette, which is a grilled your grill yourself kind of option. And I have not had this, so I wanted to try this. I've done the fondue at the melting pot back in the US, so let's get started. So you have this griddle here, and you're supposed to put your cheese on this pan. Ooh, it's heavy. So you put the cheese on the pan. So I put it in here. Okay, and then it's gonna melt the cheese. Okay, then I went with the combo, I guess you can call it chicken, beef, and this is veal. And then over here we've got onions, pickles, corn, mm, don't know what that is, T tomato, mushrooms. Just curious, is that like an apple? Pear, it's a pear. And then over here, we have a sack of potatoes. They are already cooked. Oh yeah, they're warm. What I will do first is go ahead and put the meat on there. Chicken, beef, and veal. And put some of this up here. Okay, and then I'll turn this. This is pickle too. The corn is pickle. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, you, I guess you can still put it on the... Let's see. Pickles, onions. Okay, what else? Let's put the rest of these. And then I need to turn this one. So the one I'm most worried about cooking is the chicken. You want that to be fully cooked. The beef and veal, probably not as long. Okay, and then once you're done, you get this scraper thing. 
I think the veal will be done quickest. So in the meantime, when you're waiting, what you can do is grab your bread from your fondue partner's plate. So word of advice, if you do go with the raclette, then have some fondue. Is it gonna be hot? <laughs> okay, so let this cool for about two minutes because the cheese is boiling. It smells really good. Wow, this is really good. The bread's really good quality, the cheese, it's, it has a different taste to it. You can't, can't compare it really. So I think our meat should be finishing up. I'll let the chicken go last. Yeah, which is what I want. Okay, so now we'll get the skillet with the cheese. Ooh, look at that. So the first one was not, you know, perfect, but here we go. So this is the veal. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's really good. It's like steak and potatoes, but the cheese just elevates the whole experience. Something about cooking your own food that just makes things taste a little better. So this is a great experience. We've got the other two pieces. Let me grab this. This is the beef and the chicken should be good now. Just want to make sure it's not pink at all. We've got the cheese. This is a very invested effort, but it's totally worth it. So we got the scraper. Not too good. So we've got the steak, the beef steak, the chicken. Let me try the chicken first. It's really good. Let me try the steak as well, and I'll tell you which one is my favorite. So my favorite, honestly, the veal. The veal was the best. It just was a, a thinner piece of meat. It just had the most flavor. Second would be the chicken, third would be the beef, but they're all really good. Thumbs up for me. This is a good experience. And these are all pickled on the right, the onions. Mm. And there's even mushrooms and pears. It's a pear. It's really good. The ends of the cheese are like my favorite. Wow. Thumbs up for me on this. So if you go with the raclette, I would recommend choose one meat um, to your liking. They have pork, they have beef, veal, chicken. Go with the veal if you're a steak eater. It's gonna be the best, I think, in terms of like the quality of the meat you're gonna get. Go heavier on the cheese. I didn't do that. <laughs> they got lots of cheese left, but thumbs up for me. This is a good experience. <laughs> Look, I will add here. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so as we were finishing up here, he, our uh, waiter took the fondue pan or bowl, I guess. And he said the best part is in the bottom, which he scratched off. Because we were wondering how the heck we we're going to get that, but we let it be. But he was like, nope. So we got the goodness at the bottom of the pan. That is super important if you can get to it. Apparently they can. Mm. It's like a really, really nice cheese it <laughs> Like a really, really nice cheese it Oh yeah. I'm in heaven. So now we have a kind of different fondue. It's a dessert fondue made with chocolate. It comes with fruits and biscuits. So it's pretty easy. You just take a banana piece or some other type of fruit, dunk it in. Mmm, that looks really good. Mmm, really nice chocolate. And then let's take an apple. Mmm, really good. It's a really nice dessert. Hey guys. hey guys! So we just finished here at the Swiss Kushi restaurant mm -hmm. in Zurich and we had a very nice cheese fondue and a really nice raclette. The raclette was yes, really good. Yes, it was really like the, the Swiss authentic, authentic experience. experience yeah. Yes, it was really, really good. And it's also interesting where the name comes from, right? Mm -hmm. Because we were wondering in the beginning, what is Kushi? What is that? What's, yeah. What does it mean? It's Swiss and German for kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, so in German, kitchen is Küche, and in Swiss German, apparently it's Küche. Mm, so, so it's very interesting <laughs> yeah, to learn, interesting. you know, the differences just across the border. Yeah, right. Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think even for you, you mentioned like it's, it's I, I'm different. having sometimes a hard time understanding because it is the pronunciation is very different right. from German. German. But it was a good meal. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it was a good <laughs> meal. And I'm really full right now. Yeah. Really full. And what is also, it's perfect for like cold weather. Yes, that's the other thing. It it's was really, really cold. It's cold out here. That's why I'm like really shivering. But, <laughs> but it warms you up it warms really you fast. Up. And then you got to cook in front of all that 
heat, you know, so it just naturally nice. gets you warm, it's which nice. is nice. Yeah. There's and people sitting outside here <laughs> and they're doing, you no. know, they're, they're the whole <laughs> raclette experience. I think it's a great way to warm up. So if you're in Switzerland, make sure you find a place to get fondue and raclette. If you're okay. in Zurich, raclette. Yeah. Okay. That's how we would say it in German. But Well. Rac raclette, raclette. <laughs> yeah. raclette. Yeah. but if you're in Zurich make sure you come to Swiss Cushy. Cushy. <laughs> at the Hotel Adler at the right Hotel behind Adler. us yep. here they so. are the number one rated and we definitely see why yeah. it was a good and experience and they were also super friendly the yes, service was, the service was amazing these people yeah. were really dealing with they explaining yeah, bringing they explained the food it out two times how to do it to, they explained it two times for us yeah so a lot it's of definitely patience. a lot of patience, patience taken yeah. in here and um, they do a good job mm -hmm. with the whole Swiss experience, experience. so okay. come check it out yeah. but with that said we need to warm up I'm freezing <laughs> we will see you on the next video bye bye, bye.